All right, welcome to episode one of Backyard Soccer 2004. This is coming after the 98 series. I know uh, MLS edition is in between those, but I already did MLS. I, I went out of order. I went MLS, then 98. So now we're doing 2004. Um, so not to spoil the 98 season, but the uh, it, it was a pretty exciting finish. And then, and in that series, what I did was I did the uh, I picked the worst team at, that I possibly could. And I thought about doing that again, um, but honestly, that didn't really, it didn't really affect too much. You know, we still ended up winning a lot uh, of games, and, you know, I don't want to pick the exact same team as last time, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit this time. I'm going to, you'll, you'll see, I'm going to pick a different team, but um, they did add some new fields for for this one in 2004 so we'll see some of that some of those we'll do uh hard again uh game length we'll keep it long just because i feel short is just a right way too quick our field um we are going to be playing in um i don't know i think we're gonna go I think we're gonna go uh, to Fappy's Farm. I still can't believe that's an actual uh, name of a, of a field. I think we're just gonna go to the uh, the, the old good old Steel Stadium. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use the Ernie Steel Stadium here. But for our team, we're just gonna create another team. We were the Boots in the last episode or the last series. Thinking All Stars. Uh, or Wombats, actually. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna be the Wombats. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna be the White Wombats. Uh, last one, we were the Blue Boots. We're going, we're going white, all white. We're gonna have that clean white look this time. So, as for the team, so yeah, so this is where we're gonna mix things up. So, I was thinking, so we have eight spots on our team. I think it would be interesting to do an all-sibling lineup. So, there's like five sets of siblings, which means we're going to have to skip out on one. So, I think I'm going to skip out on the Dobbs. But I think other than that, I think we're just going to draft. We're going to go strictly siblings. So, we're going to get Vicky. We're going to go Vicky, which obviously means we're going to go Kenny. Man, you're awesome. His vo his voice is so much different than the. <laughs> I'm just I'm used to uh, hearing him in the baseball '97 series. His voice sounds so much different. Dude, pick me. Rock on. So we're gonna get the Kawaguchis, the Cons. Uh, we're gonna get the Webers. If I can find them. There they are. Sydney and I are pretty good soccer players. You're a special now, person. I know I haven't been taking the pros in a lot of these series. I'm just going to be honest. I don't really know the pros too well. I, I didn't really watch soccer growing up. I do know Landon Donovan is in this game and Kobe Jones. I don't really know too many of the other ones. Like, I don't... Jay Heaps, I, I don't really, you know... Uh, Brian McBride, Brandy... I, I do know Brandy Chastain, actually. Um... But like Carlos Valderrama, I just I, I I don't know. I didn't grow up watching soccer. I'm not a I'm not a huge, uh, you know, when it comes to soccer. But the last one set of twins or, or not twins uh, siblings yeah, we're gonna get is the Del Vecchios. Play some ball here. What do you say? Nice move, slick. Tony's not gonna forget this. So we're gonna get the Del Vecchios here, and then we're gonna we're gonna pass on the Dobbs. But that that is gonna be our team. Thought it would be just you know. A, a, a change. I thought it would just be a change, you know, switching it up from from uh, the worst team that I've been doing recently, or uh, what was it? Uh, the just picking whatever. We're it, it at least gives us something, you know. It gives us uh, some sort of uh, direction, some sort of. Um, storylines going on, so that is going to be our team. We got the siblings on our the sibling squad, Delvecchios, the Cons, the Webers, and the Kawaguchis here. So um, we got our 14 game season as usual. Uh, in and 
the standings here. Just, again, just got to be one of the top two teams to advance. Uh, as for uh, everything else, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it the way it is. So strategy wise, taking a look at our roster. So they got both the Del Vecchio sitting, and look, Angela's got Max kicking today. So I don't. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna move Angela to to midfield with that kicking. I mean, that that kicking power is, looks deadly. Um, I think we're gonna put Kenny in goalie. Kenny seems to be our our uh, goalie in most of these series. Defense. I think we're gonna put Tony on defense over here. Um. Let's see, what else do we got? Should we leave both the Webbers on the bench? I think we're I think we should put Vicky up front with that speed. And I don't know. I Sydney does have the better stats, so I guess we'll bench Ashley for this game. Leave Yeah, we'll leave uh Angela at midfield. Ahmed can be one defense. Tony the other, Kenny and Net. Where do we put Ashley? Do we do we bench the cons for this game? Maybe we should bench. Maybe we should bench uh, the cons for this one. They do have the worst stats. I, I'm not. I, I will mix it up. I won't just you know every you know what yeah every game a different set of twins is gonna get benched. <laughs> or I keep saying twins. I mean siblings. Every game a different set of siblings will get benched. I don't want to split them up. So for this game it'll be the cons that that sit out. Next game it'll be a different set. You know we'll just keep rotating them in like that as for the team we're going up against the mighty fishes Colin, colleen brennan fred benson joel minotti earl abbott alonzo beck zen and estrada todd xavier and george coleman so i'd imagine i'm not gonna lie i would imagine we're still probably gonna win most of these games Backyard soccer is typically one of the easier backyard sports there uh, out there, but we're just gonna have fun with it. You know, we're gonna we're gonna rock with this sibling uh, sibling squad, and uh, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna have some fun with it. So we're gonna hop in here, game number one. Cons are on the bench. We still got the Kawaguchis, Del Vecchios, and Webers out here. Let us hop in, game number one of the sibling season. Are you ready for another unbelievable BSL season? Fasten your seatbelts because here we go! I'm Sunny Day, and joining me is my pal Earl Grey. Together, we'll bring you every bit of the soccer action about to unfold. Indeed, Sunny. The day is balmy, and those BSL players look keen to pummel that ball to kingdom come. Going head-to-head -head in today's game are the Mighty Fishes and the White Wombats. This is their first season for the Wombats here with us at the Backyard Soccer League. Now, we'll see how this new team plays together. No doubt we're in for a great deal of excitement with this group of young football enthusiasts. I, for one, expect them to show great flair in climbing to the top of the Backyard Soccer League B Division. Let's get ready to rock! All right, game number one, Wombats and Fishes. fishes. Here we go. I got this Dribbles guy. it up. After playing the 98 season, the graphics just look so much better. So much cleaner. Although I don't like that um, noise, that beep every time. But look at Vicky. Look at Vicky. We didn't have any of this in the 98 series. Look at this. Look at that. Vicky Kawaguchi. Yeah, she's so much better than anyone we had in the 98 series. Like, by a country mile. <laughs> so much better than anyone we had. I mean, that speed, the finish ability. Yeah, Vicky's going to be one of our better players for sure. It's going to be a sad... Uh-oh. Uh it's going to be sad when we have to bench her for uh, the cons. All right, Kenny. Way to, way to jump on that one. Getting it off to, yeah, to her sister. Or his sister. Up to Sydney. What a pass from Sydney up to Vicky. Okay. Vicky wants a second one. Look at this ball control. I just, I can't believe this. I, I just, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm just so stunned. I didn't get, I didn't have any of this in the 98 series. It was so much more, it was so difficult to, to get goals like that. The mighty fishes. I'm sorry. And Vicky's out here just making it look so easy. Todd Xavier. 
is in for Zen and Estrada. Also, I gotta get used to the new Please voice. I know that uh, Sunny Day, they had to switch um, voice act, voice actresses or whatever for Sunny Day in this one. Kenny, again, jumps on it. Kenny, um... Let's get that up to Vicky, yep. Probably could, didn't even do that. Probably could have just taken it up myself, but... Into Again, I'm just, I'm just used to it. I'm just used to having to just get rid of the ball. I'm not used to having a, a, an actual good player on my team like that. Corner kick to Fishes. This is a great place to have a shot on go. They, they also changed the voice of Earl Grey. It just sounds totally different. All right, Tony. Come on, Tony. Del Vecchio coming up. All right, Tony, look at this. Look at this. Tony Del Vecchio gets on the board here. Yeah, I'm telling, like, uh, now that now that I'm not playing with just a, a garbage team like I did in the um, the 98 series, I definitely think it's going to be probably a little easier to score some goals. But then again, like I said, even in the 98 series, even though I struggled a little bit more, I mean, I was we were still winning pretty much every game. It's not like it was – didn't really make it that much of a difference. But Vicky, first half hat trick. Vicky is really putting on a display. Something wrong with Old Gray's voice. He sounds like he's sick or something. But yeah, uh, we're gonna mix it up though. Every every uh, game, every every game, a different set of twins will get benched. So for this one, it's the Cons. Next game might be the Webers. I mean, we're just. <laughs> um, we are uh, we are killing it right now. I'm telling you, it's hard difficulty, but. Backyard soccer is just a, in general pretty easy game. I don't really think there's um, anything we could do differently to make it harder on ourselves. I just think, it, like I said, I just think it's pretty easy. It's very simple, very cut and dry. Just dribble it, get to the spot, kick the ball, go goes in the net. We have a substitute for the mighty fishes. Estrada. Estrada's back Xavier. in for Xavier. But, yeah, I mean, I also, I, I think most of the players, like, we didn't even draft that good of a team, honestly, like, stats-wise. Obviously, Vicky is really good. But even, like, I don't know, I don't even think, like, most of our players were that, were, were the better players in the, in the league. It's not like we drafted any pros or anything. But 6 nothing lead. Maybe I should have put it on short length. And that's the end of the first half. It's halftime, gang, and the Wombats have secured the lead. Six, zero. A win looks promising, so let's hope they can keep up the pace through the second half of play. I'm sure they are feeling pretty good about themselves. With such a big lead, it's hard not to feel good. I think we still have an interesting game on our hands. These kids love to play, and play they will, no matter the score. All right, uh, six nothing at halftime. I think that's we'll probably more than we had in any game in the '98 series um, in in the first half. So probably going to be. I don't really think we're going to get tested too much, especially in B division. Ooh, we try to cross it over to uh, to Sydney. Dribbles it up. Tony Del Vecchio, ooh, gets taken out. Only thing left in question now is are we gonna get the shutout for Kenny? Who's got that guy? It looks like it's going to be a closely cool game today. I just can't I'm I'm still not used to the voice changes. I, I it just sounds so weird to me now after playing like all those episodes or all those games of um 98 just, just and not it's not sitting right with me yet not, I have to get used to these new voices Sends it back. interesting back. interesting decision to uh, not go for the shot there impressive control oh wow they might no nope. oh just off the post is that power up I think they got a power up. That'll be a goal kick for one bet. Settles it. Or maybe it's Chips gone. Yeah, it looks like 
Either way, it wasn't for us. Um, but I'm trying to think who I should sit for the next game to get the cons in here. I'm thinking the Webbers. I'm thinking the Webbers are getting the bench. Ooh, double save from the goalie. I don't know why. <laughs> that was the weirdest header I've seen. All right, Ashley, get there. Ah, uh, that, no, that's in bounds. Come on, ref. We have a substitute for the mighty fishes. Todd Xavier is coming in for Alonzo Beck. Let's see what they do here. Ooh, Sydney, get on that. Ooh, what a what a clear from the goalie. Got all that one. All right, Ashley. No, we may not actually score in the second half. It's uh, pretty pretty uneventful so far. And I have to turn the chatter down too. It's a lot more. Uh, they 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 chat a lot more in this one than the other ones. Ashley getting up to her sister. Sydney's got some space. Let's see if Sydney can get her second one. It's already halfway through the second half. No goals so far after six in the first half. Oh yeah, this is this is a free goal. It's a free goal. Oh, off the post, Vicky though. Off the post. <laughs> back to back post, keeping it a six goal game. It's not like um, <laughs> it's not like it's gonna really change too much in terms of anything, but it will, unless Tony can get one here. Ah, right, that was pretty bad, Tony. That was pretty, that was, that was not good. Not good. It's either the Webbers or those Delvecchios that are getting benched next game. I haven't decided yet. Even though a Angela has, like, the, that boost, but I don't even think she's touched the ball. Like, she's just not uh, really gotten around to getting, oh, there we go. Ashley Weber scores. It's looking like the Del Vecchios are the ones that are getting benched next game. We have a substitute for the Mighty Fishes. Zenon Estrada is in for Earl Abbott. All right, yeah, I've, de I look, I've, I've decided. I think the Del Vecchios are getting benched next game. Angela had all this kicking. I want to see, actually. She, Angela has all this kicking. How far can she kick? No, honestly, wasn't even that impressive. Yeah, we're the cons are going to come in for the Del Vecchios. I've decided officially, but seven nothing here in game number one. Tony, I know I said you were going to sit next game, but there's no reason to get fouls over it. No reason to pout. All right, there it is. Seven nothing victory here, game number one of the season. Pretty easy game. Pretty uh, decisive. Sonny, the better team has won once again. What more needs to be said? The scoreboard says it all. All right, seven nothing here in game number one. Again, I, I I'm not surprised. I kind of expect us to win a lot of lopsided games now that you know my team isn't completely terrible <laughs> like it was in the '98 series. Um, but again, it's not like honestly, it's not like our team is stacked. It's not like I, it's not like I got the best players. I I got the siblings, sure, but they're not like. They're not really amazing, you know. But anyways, we're playing the Melonheads here in the second game. So I think for those that didn't watch the other series, what I typically do is I play two, then two, then three, and then the uh, off-the-wall tournament, and then three, and then two, and then two. So each each uh, div each uh, league or division usually ends up being like seven episodes. So B, A, uh, Premier League. Usually ends up being like seven episodes each, so that's I think I'm gonna stick the same format, the same system. So the uh, the Melonets they won their first game, so we'll take a look here at the Melonets roster. Um, so in net they got Artie Pimbleton, Ivan King has zero running. That's interesting. Uh, Michelle Dweck, Kathy Vosler, Gina Dawson, and Tanya Uchida. Pretty decent team, actually. Ramona Bennett and Sandy Lamar of the bench. So, like I said, we are going to be bringing in some of the reinforcements here. So, we're going to let uh, the cons come in. Uh, who's... 
Namir's better at defense. Right? Yes, slightly. So we'll put Ahmed here and we'll put um Amir at defense. We'll leave the Webers in, we'll leave the Kawaguchis in. Next uh next game, someone else will get substituted, either the Kawaguchis or the Webers, probably the Webers. Um But yeah, we'll just keep rotating siblings like that. This and we'll go from there. So Let's hop in to game number two. Let's see if Vicky can have another dominant performance. And, like, her stats are pretty good. Her, her ball control's great. She's a good runner, good kicker. She is our best player. But, like, honestly, like, a lot of these other players, it's not like we're, I'm telling you, we're not stacked by any means. I just think backyard soccer's an easy game. But, anyways, we're going to hop in here. Game number two, Wombats versus Melonheads. Let's get her done. Welcome back to another soccer shindig, all you crazy fans. This is Sunny Day, and my pal Earl Grey, with a hearty hi ho to ya! Uh, certainly, Sonny. It's a pleasure. Going head-to-head -head in today's game are... The White Wombats, and... The Little Melonheads. The Wombats are playing wonderfully. ESL fans have no doubt that they can pull out another win for this season. The competition's fierce out here, folks, so let's kick it into high gear! Wombat, kick off. All right, let's see if Vicky can have another uh, all dominant dominant performance here. But again, I don't want to I don't want to spoil anything for those that didn't watch the '98 series. But even when we picked the worst team, it didn't really affect anything until the actual World Cup tournament. The World Cup tournament was challenging. I'm not gonna lie, that actually did uh, that did make me play my best. Ahmed caught oh off the pose so close. Ahmed, Vicky, could not bury that one. Yeah, I'm going to get turned down the chatter. It's way, it's way uh, too much. Hey, Ashley gets the first goal of the game. Second goal of the season for Ashley Weber. And the Wombats are on the board. will restart the game. Ahmed wasting no time here. Getting into the, his first game of the season. Here comes Ahmed Khan with it now. Ahmed up to Vicky for the corner. Oh, what a play. What a play. What a cross from Ahmed over to Vicky. And the Wombats up 2 nothing here early. That was that was actually pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That was actually sick. It's always nice when you when you mean to do something and it actually works out. You know what I mean? Like I meant to do that. And that that's what makes it even feel even better. Oh, no. Oh, what a save from Kenny. Kenny going way up to get that one. Vicky. Yeah, Vicky's our best player easily. Look at that ball control, that speed. I mean, she's she's an animal. She's on another level. She's so, oh my goodness, she's so good. She's so good. Vicky might honestly have been a cheat code. I might have actually, I like, I really think... Uh, we'll, I mean, we'll find out next episode when I when the Kawaguchis get uh, benched. I really think it's really just Vicky that's the cheat code on my team. I really do. I really think she's just so she's so good. If I didn't have Vicky, I think it would have been a lot different. I mean, we'd still probably be winning games, but not by this much. Uh oh, what a cross! Never mind. Amir. Kenny, my man, way to go. Uh-oh. Can't get the ball out. Kenny. Uh, can't get it out. Just can't get it out. There we go. They got it out for us. All right. First half is more than halfway done. There you go, Ahmed. Just get this ball out of here, man. Yeah, just get it over there. Get Ashley picks it up. Okay. Play, Ashley wants a second. She's definitely got space and time. This goalie's also pretty far Here's out of position. Hey, Ashley Weber. Two goals for Ashley. Two goals for Vicky. 4 nothing lead. The Webbers and the Kawaguchis are uh, putting their stamp on this one. All right. Let's see if the Khans can, can make a name for themselves this game. Ahmed Khan from the top of the box, right on net. 
Ashley, okay. Okay, Ashley, I see you. I see you, Ashley. And a hat trick for Ashley Weber. Five nothing in the first half. Not quite the six, but we'll take the five. Yeah, the cons might be the worst of the siblings. I'm not gonna lie. Out of all, it's between the cons and the Del Vecchios right now. Uh, I don't want to make them feel bad, but they're definitely not the Kawaguchis or the Webers, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna go in the half up. Oh no! Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was gonna watch that go in. I was like, "Are you serious?" But we will go into halftime of five nothing. And that's the end of the first half. Welcome to halftime of this action-packed game. The Wombats are up. Five, zero. Let's cheer them through a second half and hope they can hold on to this significant lead. This truly has been a remarkable half for them, Sonny. When you see an inflated score like this, you really must wonder if one team simply wasn't prepared for the match. Of course, sometimes one team simply outclasses another. And that appears to be the case today. Five nothing lead here the first half against the Melonheads. Melon Pretty dominant yeah, performance. Like once again, I mean we, we haven't we've scored the first twelve goals of the season so far. About to be thirteen here. Ooh, never mind. Gets Sydney Weber's uh bid gets blocked. Although she does get that. Ooh, where's the foul, ref? Can't be our players can't be you can't be letting our players get hit by like that. This girl, these girls keep trying to cross me up and it's working somehow. Alright, here comes Sydney. Get up to Vicky. Ooh, cannot get that one. The Melonheads are striking. Oh, what a move. Kenny. Some of those five saves. I don't remember him get making that many saves, but oh here we go. Here we go. Vicky's on the break, on the fast break. Look at that There's ball Vicky. control. Man, I just can't, I can't get, I can't get over it. This ball control is something. A in the area. Oh, oh wow, just missed the hat trick. But Sydney Ryan Weber, Sydney, keeper. what was that? How are you gonna miss the, the wide open net like that, melon girl? Heads, not the we have a substitute for the little melon heads. Tanya Uchida is in for Kathy Bossler. That was all around embarrassing. Uh, Vicky off the post. Sydney off the just wide. Amir, get there. Amir, Amir Khan, no. All right, Kenny. Does that count? Does every time Kenny touch the ball, does that count as a save? Because, I mean, there's no way they have six shots on goal. Just, I don't believe it. Ahmed does not have the speed. Ahmed does not have the speed to get there to the spot. Although, Ahmed, Ahmed Khan, yes, there we go, the Khans are on the board, Ahmed's got one for the Khan clan. Alright, 6 nothing lead, one more, one more goal will match our, our uh, goal put from game number one. Sydney's coming out wide with it, gonna lose it though. Sydney, okay, over to Ackman. Ackman's rocking out right now. He's uh, he's in his own little zone right now. Ackman, are we gonna get seven? We might get. Oh, Sydney, no. Ackman, oh Sydney, Ackman, turn with it. <laughs> no. We might not. We might not get up to. Uh, we might not get up to seven goals. Although, Ashley, if I have something to say about that, Ashley, okay. Ah, that was me. I, I, I misshot it. I uh, did not did not get the right spot. Sydney? Okay. Okay, Sydney, turn with it. Plays the square ball. Yeah, it looks like they're going to clear it. Yeah, that's all right. We'll take another 6 nothing win. Amir is so slow, man. He is he is, he is not um, moving too well right now. 
But it looks like that is going to do it for this one. Looks like the Wombats here are going to take this one. 6 nothing here in game number 2. Kenny. And one final save for good measure. The Wombats have won with amazing style. Six, zero. What an extraordinary game, Earl. Oh, I feel woozy. Oh, what a marvelous ending to a superb match. Today, we can all be glad that the better team won. Six nothing victory here in game number two. So, as you can see, it's, um, Becker Talker's just an easy game in general, so... Uh, I, I feel like whatever team I pick, we were going to probably win uh, either way. But I, I just wanted to make it a little more interesting. A little more just some... I wanted to give the series some storyline, some uh, direction or something to you know play for. And I, I, I definitely wanted to do a sibling, all sibling lineup for one of these series. I just felt like this was the best one to do it in because baseball, you have like nine. So there's like one extra spot. Um, basketball, you only have five roster spots. Football, again, is an uneven number. This one was an even eight. So I just felt like this was the best uh, the best series to do the sibling lineup for. So that's why I did it. I chose it for this one. But again, I, I, it's probably going to be pretty easy um, going forward. But League leaders through two games. Vicky's with six. Ashley with four um, assists. Angela and Ahmed with one each. Points. Again, Vicky and Ashley up there at the top. We're actually not leading the league in shots taken, which is surprising, but Vicky's way up there with nine. Um, eight shots are on goal. 100% shooting for Ashley. Uh, no penalty shots as of right now. And one hat trick for uh Vicky tied for the league lead with as long with Ashley and two wins for Kenny 13 saves. I don't know how he has that many saves. I do not remember them shooting the ball that much, but he is a hundred percent with two shutouts. So that is going to do it for episode number one. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how to make the series better, but for right now, my plan is just to swap out a different set of siblings each game just so to get everyone some playing time. Next episode, we'll see if it makes a difference without Vicky. I definitely think she's our best player. So without the Kawaguchis, we'll see if it's just as easy or any different. But again, I just... I'm back to what I've been saying. I just think backyard soccer is an easy game. Um, even a hard difficulty, it's really not too difficult. The AI is uh, not very great. Um, I don't think we'll see any sort of pushback until the World Cup. But anyways, that is going to do it for this one. Till next time, catch y'all later.